Good afternoon, guys. Thank you for joining me, jumping in on another demo day. Thank you for choosing Hubert Gaming. This is Hyper Parasite, a roguelike, top down brawler shooter. Obviously, best played with a controller, but we're going to be hitting up with a keyboard and mouse today. Um, Troddler Dyke, Troddler Dyke, Troddler Dyke Games are the developers. I think it's one of their first titles uh kind of 80s style as you can see here 8-bit um graphics 8-bit music i love it it's going to take me right back to my childhood a real nostalgia feeling around this game so let's get straight into this bad boy and see what it's got to offer Downtown. so obviously the first thing that hits you is that kind of continued 80s style the color scheme the music the map settings real standard of these kind of games really feels like i'm in the first gta i get lost oh So straight in, nice and difficult. A challenging game. Where's someone to house? I do like that feature. Oh! Oh, oh man. Game over. Hero of the day. S. Buckingham. I can do one. Fucking do one, mate. Right, let's go straight back in. Try it again. <clears throat> Downtown. So one of my favourite things about these, oh, about these, um roguelike kind of games ow is the replayability factor to them it's kind of what draws me to them the ability to play consistently through and within reason it'll be different every time um all right let's see how this plays out i think i'm going to try ditch this body and move on to <laughs> Yeah, get rid of him. Right, wonderful. Right, who can I steal? So you can see the, the parasite mechanics in action there. Oh my god. Game over. Just need a nice run through. Don't like that tramp character, but that's okay. And you know what? For demo, they've given a lot of content here. Uh, so I'm really excited to see where they take Downtown. the final version. Bosses, I guess, is the way you really differentiate yourself. Solid start. Uh, is there a power up? Or, oh. No. Let's go up here there. Chop. I definitely won't have enough gold because I have none. Let's see if the guy gives out freebies.
Game over. You need a bit more. I think you need a bit more health as a parasite. Maybe you don't. Maybe that's the idea. You know, parasites don't exactly live long outside their host body, so... This guy. Downtown. This guy. This bloody guy. That's quite powerful ulti. Oh, this guy's pretty badass, actually. I'm into it. Papers? Not entirely sure. <laughs> we'll roll with it there. Kind of a gambit esque character, I like it. Um, other than that, I haven't seen any character I really enjoy yet. Well, thank you, sir. Giving out the discount. Ghost grenade. Oh. Go on, brain. Find your character. Most of these games I like to play on demo day, they are very early access. This is pre-alpha 0.19, so any kind of bugs you're probably going to see here are likely to be, well, you hope would be fixed by the end game. Still a long way to go, but so far I think they've been doing really well with this game. The style is a big 10 out of 10 for me. The characters, the enemies are difficult, cool style. I haven't seen a real boss yet, that's something I'd really like to see in this game. Um, really like to see bosses in roguelike games. It's a big part of it, a good hard boss. Oh, good hard boss. Um, oh. oh shit. And the other thing is, I'd like to see uh, some more power-ups. Another big part of roguelike games that I do enjoy is kind of creating builds with the power-ups that you find. That you, the power-ups that you find about, and it allows you to make crazy-ass combos with you know, stuff flying everywhere. With stuff flying everywhere, you know, fire, flame shots, ice, you know, teleports, all that kind of thing that allow you to really get some crazy shit going on. That's the fun part. I'll take the victory there. Elemental immunity, impulse grenade, reform upgrade, attack upgrades. Well, they have power ups. 
But from what I can see, they just seem to be statistical power-ups. They're just buffy stats. Um, I want, you know, crazy stuff that allows me to really play the game in an interesting fashion. But I guess, I don't know if that just comes from the kind of character you're playing, but I do feel that the power-up should give you the ability to kind of have loads of wild things going on. Binding of Isaac, that's a prime. Binding of Isaac is a prime example of the kind of thing I want from a game like this with the power-ups. However, this hasn't really so far provided. So I hope that's a feature they start to bring in or decide to bring in in the future. This guy's great. This guy's awesome. Character quick, but then they die. It also seems like the characters are getting. Oh, unlucky, mate. Char uh, it also looks like the characters are getting stuck on the wall. Um, so there's obviously still a bit of tweaking to do with the code. Ah, that's where they're coming from. Damn. Let's get one more good run through. Make a nice one for the YouTube Downtown. video. Hopefully get myself a nice thumbnail from that. Panky going on around here, huh? Stop it! <laughs> Some police officer in a tramp came out of that car. Look at it. I don't want to know what's going on in there. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> what you guys do in your spare time is all your responsibility. <laughs> right, you comes out of there. <laughs> oh. 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 oh, oh, shit. Those basketball players are good. Tough enemies. Timing. This back to the beginning. I think this might be, you know. How <laughs> oh, cool, police, army, the president. 
Oh, I, I don't want no trouble now. This guy's great. You're a well underappreciated character. Well, I guess he's only underappreciated by me, isn't he? Didn't like him at first. Didn't care for him. Oh, you did care. Oh, you've made this real difficult for me, haven't you? needs a bit of work they seem to just be going after for pretty much where I was seem to be following just a straight line behind me Dodge that, I do not know. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Thank you. So a bit of resistance and luck. Gee, I think the the shot can't have been far away. Can it? Yeah, it was just through here. Let's get this brain back to base. the ultimate ability that's a nice little feature really simple to throw in but it adds another dimension to the game Let's go check that out. Let's see if we can get a clean sweep of the damage there. 
I didn't miss anything or anything has opened up. No. Oh, threat brain. Thank you. Smooth gameplay so far, I like it. A little a couple things they could optimize, but you know, so far so good. No, that's just my own brain. Give me a brain. Uh, right. Make sure I haven't missed anything else. And I think I've come to... Oh. Oh, look who we have here. Enjoy your disc hour. Thought he was going to fight me. I was ready for some... Pretty, you know, ready for a little battle. Nothing. Nice. Think there's anything else to do there? All right, I think I'll finish up there, guys. Ah, actually, I could play one more time. Boosh! Let me go unlock a couple characters. See who we can purchase. Yeah. That is a really annoying feature. I can't believe it makes me tap. It, you can't be serious. Like, that is something they have to fix, because I'm not tapping, what, 30 times to unlock a character worth 1,500? Ridiculous. That's what this guy's worth. 150, there it is. There should... If, if any of the developers end up seeing this, please put in a purchase outright feature because having to click all that times is kind of annoying to say the least menu. Go for one more run through. Downtown. I'd like a boss. I'd really like a boss. Um, I haven't found one yet. I think, uh, hopefully they're working on them. Let me try to take one of those characters. Game over. To another proper run. You know, that, that didn't really count. Aha, here we go. Downtown. New character, I like it. See what his ultimate ability is. Oh, the bounce, I like Ow. Ow. Those guys are deadly, man. I should have only got on the good ones, you know. Now I've got to keep playing till I have another good run.
Downtown. Right back into that. Game over. Should have known there'd be another one there. Should have known. Downtown. Double kill. That is the satisfying little hit. Headshot with a basketball. Is there any of this room? because you only have a single shot but those back are oh powerful plus the rebound look at that oh he's going back for some more oh oh it's a paper boy I got ya Rolled up newspapers. Not expecting that. Ooh. Yeah. Game over. So there you have it, guys. That is uh, Hyper Parasite. Forgot the name for a brief moment there. Yep, Hyper Parasite. Uh, roguelike, top down, shooter brawler, 80s style. Uh, and it didn't disappoint, actually. I had a lot of fun playing that, good amount of unlockables, uh, good gameplay, smooth gameplay, good combat, good characters, uh, the only thing I'd like to see is slightly more exotic power-ups I think would be the best way to put it, you know, a little more couple things happening, maybe some rockets coming out, maybe 
uh, I don't know, grow bigger, actually move around faster. A little bit of work put into that, that would really tie this game together. And then throw in a couple bosses and I would absolutely play and pay for this game. Thank you for tuning in to Hubert Gaming guys and I will see you next week for another version of Demo Day. Thank you very much guys, you can catch us on my YouTube channel and my Twitter, uh, Twitter, Twitch and my Twitch on VODs, hit me up on Twitter, also if you're a developer please don't hesitate to hit me up with your game, I'd love to have it on this channel. Thank you very much guys, catch you all soon.